Hey everybody, got a brand new product hot off the presses here uh, at PCC uh, that uh, just got done testing and I'm, I'm really excited about its functionality so I wanted to get some information out right away on it uh, so everybody could see what, what, what these products do. Uh, if you think about uh, distributed I.O. applications uh, that involve wireless uh, communications, so uh, you got a situation where you, you have trouble running an Ethernet cable so you run a wireless uh, application uh, with an access point and a client. Uh, sometimes you can run into some communications issues there. You might have problems with the environment, you might have problems with obstructions and things like that. Uh, so, so wireless has its own uh, set of complexities. Uh, so uh, what I want to show you today is an alternative method uh, to, to doing I.O. communications, but instead of over wireless, we can leverage the use of slip rings and power rails uh, to do that Ethernet, and in our case, Profinet uh, types of communications. Uh, the product is from a, a company called Conductix uh, Wampfler. Uh, the, the product name is called the Nexus BB. Uh, and like I said, uh, I've got an application uh, for, for this uh, product uh, for a customer and uh, was really excited with the ease of implementation. So I wanted to do a quick video and show everybody how this works. So if we look here, uh, you know, again, think of a typical PLC to distributed I.O. application where you've, you've got to communicate, you've got some type of obstruction, you've got some type of piece of moving equipment that, that makes that, you know, putting an Ethernet cable uh, in place very difficult. Uh, so if you look here, I have my Siemens PLC. It is communicating Ethernet, you know, with the Profinet protocol. Uh, and then on the other end, uh, I do have my, my distributed I.O. station. Uh, on the other end of that, and in between, I have a slip ring. In this case, I'm using a cable reel uh, that has a slip ring embedded in it. And, and what, I, what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to communicate both the power and the ethernet communications through the slip ring over the power wiring so I don't have to run an ethernet cable. I don't have to have a, you know, a separate ethernet uh, connection. Uh, so what these Nexus BB units do, and you see, see one here on, on one end, uh, so I've got the ethernet cable plugged in from the PLC to the Nexus BB unit. Uh, this one happens to be powered with AC voltage, so I've got AC voltage wired into it, and then I have that, that same voltage I have connected through the slip ring, okay, on, on, this, on this cable ring. Uh, so, so think of this, this is just, just AC voltage, it's just your typical 120 volt uh, plug and receptacle that we have going on here. It goes through a cord reel, through a slip ring, and then we connect up that power on the other end here. So we can see we've got, we've got the receptacle, we've got the 120 volts plugged in. Again, we're powering the, you know, what I will call the, the, the slave side of the, of the Nexus BB uh, or the remote end of the Nexus BB unit. Um, and then that is Ethernet connected back to uh, my distributed I.O. So again, I can do this over power, so I can do it over AC power, I can do it over DC power, I don't have to have separate buses to be able to run this. Uh, in this particular demo, I don't have uh, uh, specific filters involved, but uh, there, there are filters available to clean the power to make sure that you've got a good signal uh, going across those slip rings and you keep your, your communications intact. Uh, but you can, you can definitely see here, if we, if we zoom into our, to our I.O. station, uh, you can actually see that there is a, a pattern on my I.O. So so you can see here, I've got a solid green light and I've got a pattern on my I.O. So that's kind of telling you that my I.O. is communicating. If I unplug the Ethernet cable, uh, you can see that that I.O. stops functioning. All right. But if I plug that back into the Nexus BB box, you can see now that it's going to start right back up and start communicating with the PLC. So very unique situation here where we can actually run the Ethernet communications over the power. Uh, so yeah, so the Nexus BB, brand new product for PCC, uh, just ran these tests within the last couple days. I'm really impressed. I, I absolutely hate the term plug and play, but literally that's what this is. Uh, you know, the hardest part for me was actually getting all the wiring put together for the, for the 120 volt system. I'm used to working with 24 volt DC. Uh, but once I got that wiring implemented and I got these units powered up, uh, you know, as long you know, I already had my PLC and my IO programmed uh, to communicate. 
but instead of plugging them in directly over Ethernet, I was doing it over the Nexus BB units and everything came up and running uh, very good. So again, great new product for us. Uh, please give me a call. Let me know if you've got an application. I think of cranes, I think of doors, I think of anything that has a slip ring or, or mobile equipment. These are all areas where the Nexus BB could definitely lend a hand, especially if you have a problematic wireless application. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you.